Patrick and Dina, good afternoon. So much fallout from this election. The House Republican leader Jim Durkin announced this morning that he will not seek another term as the leader of the GOP in the Illinois House. More on that in a moment. But Governor Pritzker, he easily defeated Darren Bailey to win a second term as governor. And of course, he wanted to meet with the press today. The governor did that at the Marriott Marquis, and he vowed that in his second term, he'll be focused on rebuilding Illinois. The governor was light on his specific agenda. Instead, as he did last night in his victory speech, Pritzker talked about the state of the Republican Party. Looking at the returns from Illinois and across the country, Pritzker said this election was a repudiation of Donald Trump candidates, including Darren Bailey. He called Bailey a disciple of Donald Trump. Pritzker opened up about his brief phone call last night with Bailey. He says Bailey told him, Governor, I want to congratulate you. And that was it. Speculation continues that Pritzker might seek the Democratic Party nomination for president in 2024 if Joe Biden doesn't run. All the governor is saying now is that he's not working on that and he commits to intend to serve all four years. Here's Pritzker celebrating his victory. Well, Illinoisans made their decision, a decision that we should be a beacon of hope and opportunity and caring. Yesterday, working families won, children won, those who have been left out and left behind won, our economy won, democracy won, and I can't wait to get back to work. So again, on Jim Durkin announcing he will not seek another turn as the House GOP leader, Pritzker said that's a loss for Illinois Republicans, but he'll work with whoever they elect as their next leader. That is the latest from this victory party here at the Marriott Marquis in the South Loop. Tamon Bradley, WGN News. Thank you, Tamon. Going to stay with us a little.